Hi everybody, welcome to Cracked Lacquer Nail Studio. I'll be doing acrylic and gel designs with 3D and even 4D sculpting and of course, bling. I will also be sharing some tips for growing beautiful, healthy, natural nails and how to deal with nail product allergies. There will be affiliate links for the products I use in the description box below. Please like and subscribe and please hit the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. In this video, I am going to make my own variation of the Rattlin Rapala fishing lure. Yes, I said fishing lure. This is not a nail video, but I am using nail products. Um, I'm going to also use poppets uh, to make four pieces of the shell of the fishing lure because it's going to have beads in it. I need it to be a hollow shell and I thought this would be a pretty good way to do it. So let's hope so. And I am going to use this lure the next time I go fishing. And I will be taking a video of that and hopefully I will catch a big one. So I'm using a poly gel. Um, this honestly isn't a favorite of mine. Um, I don't really use it, so I figured I, I could use it for this. I'm going to do the normal routine for a poppet. Um, just going to press the gel, uh, the shape, not quite the whole shape of the poppet. Um, I'm just going to make it the shape that I want. There are my four pieces. And I'm going to use some acrylic, clear acrylic. It wouldn't matter. I could use any color I wanted um, to piece those together each side. I do apologize for the length of this video. Um, there's a lot of steps in this, but it was fun. Now that I've got the acrylic there, I can put the ends together and let them cure. And now I'm going to add, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the beads in. Um, and uh, put the ends together with acrylic the, uh, so that it contains the beads. got I think enough beads in there they're not as heavy as um, what I believe is in the rat Rattlin Rapala I think they have metal beads but it's just to help the sound um, it just clicks around in the water it's supposed to be a, a natural sound that fish are attracted to so I'll use some clear acrylic just gonna I'm going to bleed it out and make it as dry as I can so it's not going to run everywhere. And then I can stick the other half of the shell to that. And there you go. I put it on both ends to make sure it stays together. So I'm going to drill my holes. I need two hook holes. Um, and they just have a thin piece of wire, so this little little bit um, works perfect for that. They fit right in there. So I'll make two of these at the bottom part. 
and then I'm going to make a hole, one hole at the top towards the head, um, and that's going to be where I place the bale. The hole for the bale wasn't quite, that bit was too small, um, so I just started, made a starter hole with it, and now I'm using a little bit wider bit um, to actually make the hole bigger, and it worked. <laughs> I'm going to use the... Um, the clear acrylic to make kind of like a an acrylic tape um you know you can call it that um it's for that gap that you see on the side there if i just put acrylic right on that it might drip through even if i had a dryer bead it would still probably drip through and we don't want that i don't want anything stopping those beads from moving so i made a little strip of acrylic and when I go to peel that off, I'm going to use some clear gel and stick it to the side of it. I tried it without the clear gel first, um, hoping it was sticky enough, and it wasn't. So I ended up using a clear gel, and then I just stuck that right on there and cured it in the UV lamp. Well, LED lamp. It's a little hard to get a hold of after a few tries I actually managed to get it on the side of it and then it didn't stick by that time I think it it I waited too long there we go there's still some gaps it's not a, a perfect science here um, so um, I'm going to be using some clear acrylic to just kind of coat the top of that just to make sure it's sealed in. I'm, I don't know that I really have to worry about that too much because I'm, after I put all the colors of acrylic that I'm going to be putting on here, I think it's going to be pretty watertight. Now it's time for this beautiful purple. Um, I'm going to make it purple and like a neon green and with yellow and black eyeballs. Um, when I go to put the purple on, it ends up looking like it's blue, more of a blue. I don't know how to fix that. Sorry about that. See how it looks blue? I don't quite understand how it comes out looking so different. Uh, maybe it's the liquid. And I don't know. It changes the tones of the color and the camera can't pick it up. There's the top part. Okay, I'm going to put that aside and I am actually going to use um, a form to um, make the fin. I'm going to make two parts and put them together with the clear acrylic. Well, I could use the purple acrylic, but it doesn't matter, I guess, either way. So I noticed on the form that it had the shape embossed in the sides of it and I just use that to form the shape of my fin. So there's my two pieces.
and as soon as those as soon as I'm ready um, I'm gonna be putting those together and attaching them to the fish well the lure <laughs> I'm ready to put the green on the belly of the fish the lure sorry I keep doing that and I'm gonna put black stripes around the whole thing uh, I'm gonna define the mouth a little bit Now it's time to put some mylar underneath there on the belly of the lure. It's already got some sparkles in it, but um, some glitter, but I want a little more. I need to catch those fish, fish's attention. After that, I'm gonna be putting some mylar on those fin pieces too, after I attach them together. Just put a little bit of clear acrylic on sections at a time uh, just so it doesn't dry out before I get that mylar on. I figured this blue glitter would be a nice touch. I'm just gonna make a stripe above the black line just on both sides, not all the way around. Um, I'll leave the mouth and the back end black. I believe it's time to put those two fin pieces together. I'm just going to go ahead and use the clear acrylic for that. I really should have just used the nail holder. go. I'm going to set that aside and let that cure. I'm going to go ahead and use the clear acrylic um, and coat this lure with it all over the whole thing before I put the the fin on okay 
Okay, let's decorate that fin. Put some, put some uh, attention getters on it. I sure can't wait to use this. I'm hoping to catch a big fish with it. I don't know what kind of fish this is going to look like. I'm not trying to make it look like any type of fish that's out there, any feeder fish or small fish, but I'm hoping the colors will, and the rattle, will actually work. If not, it was worth a try. Before I put a top coat on um, the lure, I'm going to attach the hooks and the bail. And that way I won't take a chance on scratching it or anything. I don't think the fish are going to care one way or another, but I want it to look nice. I'm just going to dab a little bit of this, um, the clear acrylic it, on the, in the hole. Um, and then when I go to pop that bale in there, it should take a little bit with it. I'm hoping it'll just give it a little extra reinforcement to stay in there. That's one thing I'm worried about with this is the acrylic might not be strong enough. If I do catch a big fish, it's possible I might lose it just because it's not strong enough, but we'll see. Before I push it all the way in, I'm going to put a little bit of acrylic so it's underneath that bead that's at the base of the bale. And then I'm going to push it the rest of the way in. Make sure it's underneath there. Alright, there we go. Felt pretty, pretty snug in there, so yeah. I'm hoping it holds. Um, I already put a groove at the top there. Just, um, I don't know. It's not a very deep groove, but maybe it'll help the fin adhere better so that doesn't fall off. If that falls off, it won't be the end of the world. I'm just not sure the rest of it's going to hold up. There it is ready for the hooks to be in. So this little piece here, it was longer and I cut it and I bent it. Um, I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but it might help me keep me from losing the hook, maybe. Um, again, we'll see. Don't really know what's going to happen. I cut a lot of this part out of this video um, because it was quite a pain. But I finally got it. Event it took a while. <laughs> there they are, and I am ready to put a top coat on there. Look, even the uh, 
the bale still swivels. It's pretty cool. That line, it looks really nice. It's going to show up a lot more when I put the clear coat. This thing isn't very heavy, so I'm probably going to have to attach a weight to that just to hold it down underneath the water. I mean, I'll already have weights on it, so a um, little further up the line from it, so actually it might just be better if this thing is so lightweight that it just kind of floats around. I'm just going to make a couple dots here for the eyes and then I'll use this yellow glitter right for the middle just to draw some attention, make it look a little bit like an eyeball. Well, I know that if I was a fish, I'd go for it. you guys enjoyed this video I thought it would be really fun there we are <laughs> super cute I hope I don't lose it if it doesn't work if the fish don't like it I just hope I don't lose it I'll probably make another one when I have a lot of time on my hands. Thank you so much for watching my video.